I just love like fleshy things. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Oh, this is face painting. No, <laughs> darling, you don't paint a Ferrari. Shut up, you beast. <gasps> beast? How dare you? <laughs> Today, we're in the Cyherbia Botanical Gardens, the Halloween edition. This is one of my favorite places to come to. It has a maze, it has a fairy village, it has various thematical botanical gardens, and it's just a fun place to hang out. And every Halloween, they have a whole Halloween costume party and they decorate the entire park in a different Halloween theme. I think this year is traditional Halloween. As you can see, I didn't really put much of an effort. <laughs> I mean, I like to go all out when I dress up for like costume parties or Halloween parties, but if I don't have the time to put in the effort, then I just keep it simple. So I guess I am a unicorn pumpkin lizard today. And my little partners in crime, Sargis, what are you Sargito, today? Sargito, I am a white... Gay. Unicorn, <laughs> white gay <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> Aranza, what are you supposed to be? Uh, uh, flower queen. Flower queen yeah. princess. <laughs> At least we match, all three of us. So that's gonna be a fun day in the park. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and interviews all about finding and following your life purpose. Have you found the the Airbnb? <laughs> I love this. It's essentially a, a beehive. For is it for, for free bees? What is it about, Sargis? What? What are they called? The free bees? Solitary bees. Oh, for solitary bees. Yes. So Aranza, here these are the lavenders, and every June, imagine this is completely purple, and you can come here and it's full of bees as well. You just if you have a bee phobia, don't come. I overcame mine. What is this? I just love like fleshy things. <laughs> that sounded wrong. What what is it? What are what's arandanos like? Blueberries. Oh, it's blueberries. Are, are they actually blueberries though? Like blueberries. Or are they like? Are these blueberries? Might be or might not be. So it's not actually blueberries. It's myrtle. I love myrtle. It's one of Aphrodite's sacred that's plants. Right, that's what it is. And I love working with both the essential oil and the energy of it. It helps you embrace your feminine energy. No, 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 it's not hot. I am hot and I'm just exuding it. Shut up, you beast. <laughs> beast? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> if you got the reference, guy. let me know in the comments. Oh, this is face painting. No. <laughs> Darling, you don't paint a Ferrari. Oh, maze. Let's go. <laughs> okay, there is actually a trick to not get lost. Sargis, do you explain I, that? No, I don't remember. No, no, I think you follow the right hand wall no. of the maze and you always, it always leads you to the end. Uh -uh. The left one then? I think you're completely mistaken. You just follow the right wall, right? Now, if you guys know, let us know in the comments. This way. <gasps> We're still waiting to... Following the right hand wall, it's fine. Oh All God. is well. We're not lost. All is well. Trust me. We're not lost. Aranza, alas, Aranza. Wait until we reach the top, and then you'll realize we're not lost anymore. Who did I meet in the maze? Hello. Is it Miranda, the queen of the maze, the queen of the garden? Welcome to the 1800s. <laughs> Where are we, Miranda, right now? <laughs> I'm a steampunk apothecary. <laughs> and you go even further back in time when you get to the tower and you'll find our plague doctor. Oh my god. Ooh. What is well, he going to do to us? Well, gonna... if you don't find the four herbs for the four thieves brew, then oh, we got, we got thyme. We back. found thyme. We found thyme. There's another three to go. Oh my god, otherwise. Right. Dun dun dun. All right, dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> so, Miranda is the owner of Cyherbia. Can you talk a little bit about what Cyherbia is? Cyherbia is a place of witchcraft and wonder, of herbs and aromas and healing medicines from nature. At the same time, because we love fantasy and cosplay, we do events like this to bring people back to nature and also get back in touch with their own imagination, which is the best superpower you can have. Yes. 
Oh, we're here. Oh, we found it, but we haven't found the, the herbs. It's okay. So what is the dog food going to do? We're gonna die a whole bit of oh, Darling, don't tease me. We have found them. We have. Is it sage, thyme, rosemary? And what else? Lavender. And lavender. And lavender. Did we guess it? Yes. I'll give you guys one tea bag. I'm supposed to not give tea bags to dogs, but I'll give <laughs> okay. it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. It's a little blend. Uh, the, this little thing right here yes. has all the instructions in it of what you can do with it. Yeah, it's, it's the mix of them. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go find the fairy village. It's down there. It's down there. So here we are in the famous fairy village. As you can see, there are so many different fairy houses all around. Miranda has has done such a great job at portraying the fairy world in this natural environment. I love it. What do what do you what do you mean you don't believe in fairies? believe in what they represent well they are the spirits and consciousness of nature so essentially they're like nymphs right? they're, they're spirits they, they're immaterial they don't really have this physical portrayal we have but this is how we've envisioned them and portrayed them in our mind so it's easier for humans to compartmentalize energy rather than just talk about oh it's just like the spirit of a tree it's easier to give you the name of a dryad or the, the spirit of the flowers. It's easier to give them the, uh, the name of a flower fairy. In our imagination through the years, we've portrayed them in these ways and different cultures have portrayed them in different ways. So if you look at the mythology of different uh, cultures, you'll see fairies and gnomes and elves portrayed in a variety of different ways. Merlin. Did you know Merlin was a Slytherin? But yes, back. of course. <laughs> like me, like us, darling. Like no, us. Hufflepuff rules, madam. No. You're a raven. What are you talking about? He's a Hufflepuff. 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 By definition, Hufflepuffs don't rule. I mean, nothing wrong with Hufflepuffs. I, I love Hufflepuffs. And, and, uh, you don't believe in labels. <laughs> labels. <laughs> well, and Hufflepuff belongs to that. Peter Pettigrew was a Gryffindor and he was a coward. So, who's to say? There you go. And Snape was a Slytherin and he was the bravest man Harry ever knew. Indeed. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? What's happening? Oh, is it a fairy? It's a fairy. Would you like to make one as well? Yes, please. are actually quite funny the tombstone sayings let's see <laughs> pierce d heart pan with scissors <laughs> r.i.p is it dead yet he loved bacon died from not forwarding that message to 10 people <laughs> she always said her feet were killing her but nobody believed her <laughs> His spirit lives on. Vacancy, apply inside. I'm a rotten. I told you I was sick. Hey girl, what you doing? It's supposed to be upbeat, it's not hey girl. It's supposed to be hey girl, what you doing? Hey girl. And then, where are you going? Who's that girl? Where are you going? Who's that girl? It's Jess. Did you find Ginkgo? I want Ginkgo. Oh, perfect. So these are all different herb tinctures. So it's basically um, the herb that saturates in a solvent, which is usually alcohol, and you take a few drops every single day to just infuse yourself with a specific herb. And I'm, I'm taking ginkgo biloba, which is for memory boost. And I'm also taking metal extract that Sargis and I have made ourselves last year. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take ginkgo. And what else do we need? 
lavender. Perfect. So this is a wrap on the Halloween Cyherbia theme park day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of the park and make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.